Online Season 2 Gun Gale Online Phantom Bullet Arc <gasps> Episode 3. And wow, was this this episode oh my it was it was amazing. It had everything to make a great episode. But before I begin, I always have to give my disclaimer, and that is if you don't know what Sword Art Online is, then I don't know what you're doing. Get yourself to Crunchyroll or Hulu and watch season one as soon as possible because it was amazing and so far season two is looking to be just as good. But anyways, if you don't know, Sword Art Online is one of the most popular animes of 2012 and tons of people seem to love it including myself. With that being said, my episode reviews of Sword Art Online 2 will contain spoilers because I will be discussing and analyzing the events that occur in the episode. So, if you have not seen the episode yet, I recommend you check it out and come back to the video when you're done. Remember, you can find SAO on Crunchyroll, and without any further ado, let's begin. Oh my god, so as I mentioned, this episode was phenomenal honestly the best episode so far we're only on episode three and i think this one was the best one out of the last two it didn't have as much action as episode two and it didn't have as much introduction as episode one but it merged those two things together and made a great episode so at the beginning of this episode we were introduced to um she known outside of gun gale online now, she's still a high school student, and apparently she's living by herself over in Tokyo. And she seems to have a problem with guns. And apparently, she killed a man in real life. We're not talking about Gun KO Online. We're talking about in real life, which was just crazy. I mean, the amount of intenseness and background and tragedy that they just gave Shinon's character was insane. I mean, even her mom was just petrified that she killed a man. I was petrified that she killed a man. She shot him three times. Not once, not twice, but three times. That was just, it was crazy. And not to mention that the animation of Sword Art Online is just incredible. Everything looks crisp and clean. I can't even complain. It is just great. But besides all that, it seems that even though Shinon has a fear of guns and she can't even be, she can't, she, in real life, she's completely frightened of anything that looks like a gun. Even a finger pointed at her in the shape of a gun will freak her out to the point where she'll have to vomit. Which is understandable because she killed a man with a gun when she was like, I don't even know how old she was. They didn't say, but she looked like she was three or four or five or six. I don't know. She was a kid. But still, that is that is just insane that that's true. So it's actually kind of cool and weird at the same time that she has this irrational, well not irrational, very rational fear of guns because she killed a man in real life. However, she's able to go to GGO and be a sniper, which is a whole MMO about guns and able to be fine there without any traumatic attacks like she has in the real life world. And it leads me to believe, and like she said, that the stronger she gets in GGO, the stronger she'll be in real life and be able to beat that fear that she has of guns, which is very rational, but hopefully she'll be able to get over soon. And now besides all that amazing backstory and progression that we had with Shino, we also got some backstory and progression with our friend Kirito. So Kirito has now finally moved on to going into GGO. He's not actually in there. He said link start, but we didn't see him in GGO but what we did see is that he told Asuna what was going on and she understood and now he's headed on his way to GGO and in GGO it seems that things aren't what they really seem Asuna said that she doesn't really trust the guy the bureaucrat with the glasses that told Kirito what he had to do in GGO and explained everything about the death con and I very much agree with her that that guy is a little sketchy. I don't know what he's doing, but he doesn't he doesn't look too doesn't look too good. So I would be I'd be very cautious if I was Kirito, especially heading into GGO with the death gun. But besides that, after we got all that backstory and tragedy and intenseness with Shinon, we also got some humor when Kirito arrived at the hospital where he's going to be staying 
to enter GGL so that they can monitor all his vital systems and make sure that he's okay. And it was really funny when he met that nurse. Apparently the nurse that is there that's going to be helping him while he's in GGO was his nurse that helped him rehabilitate himself after SAO. And apparently it looks like she has a small thing for Kikito. Um, there was a lot of back and forth and very funny parts between them and her um, when Kirito got the written message from the beer cap with the glasses he said that he should control his bodily hormones and not do anything with the nurse in the room that they're alone with so that was really funny as well as their back and forth that she said that she had already seen Kirito naked but still he only wanted to take off his shirt and I really enjoyed that back and forth after getting a lot of tragedy and sadness and intenseness beforehand with Shinon's real life backstory. And besides that, we go back into some intenseness after Kirito goes in and that's a scene with apparently Death Gun speaking to some of his, I don't know what to call them, cool comrades, whoever those people were seemed to have some sort of connection with Death Gun and Death Gun was looking at a screen to see who his next target was and his next target is Shinon. What the hell, that just blew my mind. Like, Death Gun is now after Shinon, that's his next target. And this whole episode, Shinon was talking about how she wanted to enter the Battle of the Bullets so that she be- she most likely, I'm guessing, so she could become a paid player on GGO. So that's just insane that now Death Gun is after Shinon, that's just setting up for the anime to come. These next episodes are going to be insane. Now with that being said, my MVP of this episode is Kirito, just to break the rhythm of Shinon, even though she was very prominent in this episode, but I'm happy that Kirito is now heading back into GGO, and what I really liked is that Kirito was able to come into this episode, get his progression, which is going into GGO, and still adding a little bit of humor to this very tragic episode when he had that exchange with the nurse. But overall, this, uh, these episodes keep getting better and better. And I can't get enough. We got some backstory, a very tragic backstory that adds so much more to the character of Shinon in her real life and in her life in GGO. And then after we got all that intense stuff, we also got some humor with Kirito and the nurse that took care of him in SAO and now is taking care of him again as he enters GGO. But then after that, we got thrown back into more intense shit with Death Gun's next target, who is Shinon. And so much progression was made in this episode. We saw sh- backstory on Shino's real life, which adds so much more to her character. We saw Kirito ent- entering back into GGO, and we saw Death Gun's next target, which is Shinon, which is so amazing. So in the last episode review, I said the pacing was a little slow, but right now the pacing is just perfect. I honestly cannot complain. And with that being said, I give this episode a 9 out of 10. It was a near perfection. However, with the way things are going, these episodes are only getting better and better, so I expect the next episode to be even better. At the moment, I am loving Sword Art Online Season 2. It is definitely living up to the hype, and I can't wait for the next episode, which leads me to say... Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode review, and if you did, please leave a like. Let's aim for 95 likes, that would be amazing. As well as, let's start a discussion in the comment section below. Who is your MVP of the episode? Mine was Kirito. Who do you think this death gun person is who's just targeting people, and is SAO2 living up to the hype? I honestly think it is. But anyways, I look forward to reading your opinions in the comment section below. And I will be doing these episode reviews every Saturday as Sword Art Online Season 2 episodes are released on Crunchyroll. So, if you would like to be notified when these episode reviews are released, along with the other content I bring onto the channel, then please subscribe. Thank you, and welcome to the operation.